Hey everybody, this is the fourth here. And in this video, I will be showing you how to do linear phase EQing in FL Studio. Now, there are a number of reasons why you might want to do linear phase EQing, and it's especially useful during mastering. But as an example, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you linear phase EQing on a hardstyle kick. So this isn't the best hardstyle kick, but it is a good example for this video. So you can see when I play this kick, if you look down at the spectrum, you see it has a lot of kind of noise underneath the fundamental tone of the kick. And that's not really a good thing to have. So you want to clean that up. But if you look at my decibel meter here, you'll see it's peaking at about minus eight decibels. And if I EQ that extra noise out using a standard equalizer, you'll see that the peak has increased quite a bit. And that's because, you know, this isn't a linear phase EQ, so it's kind of messing with the phases and causing that peak to increase. And I don't want that. So instead what I'm going to do is do linear phase EQ. And you can do this using the stock plugins by using the Fruity Convolver. And you know, the Convolver is usually used as a reverb plugin, but if you go to the presets, there are two linear phase EQ presets. And I usually just go with long latency because you know, you shouldn't be using a linear phase EQ during your mixing stage normally because you know the latency it introduces isn't desirable while mixing but you know while mastering it's definitely good to use a linear phase EQ and if you're just making a hard style kick the latency doesn't matter at this point because you can just you know trim off that extra silence at the beginning of the sample when you use it in your song okay so now that I've loaded up the linear phase preset in the Fruity Convolver, I am given this EQ interface here. And it works the same as any other line editors do in FL Studio. So, you know, you have your freeze, step, snap, and slide options. And then you can just, you know, uh, right click to place a point and, you know, adjust the curves by grabbing that middle thing there. And yeah. So for this sound, I want to cut out that low frequency. And it looks like the fundamental tone of that is like at or above 50 hertz. So I'm going to take this first point down to 44 hertz. And you can see up here it says 44 hertz. And then I'm going to drag this point all the way down. And I'm even going to add in another point and make this curve pretty sharp. So you can see that that's cleaned it up quite a bit. And if I turn it off, it's a lot better. And if you look over here at the peak meter, um, Here's with it off. It's peaking at minus eight still, and here's with it on. Yeah, you know, that might have increased the peak just very slightly, but it's a huge difference from if I use this. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you can do linear phase EQing in FL Studio. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. 
This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.